AirGPU is a cloud PC rental service similar to Shadow and Maximum Settings, based in Utrecht, Netherlands. Founded in 2020, their goal is to bring low latency cloud gaming without restrictions to all parts of the world. As of now, they currently offer different tiered cloud gaming PCs in 15 data centers across four continents, including North America, Europe, and Asia Pacific. In this video, we'll go over the details on how to set up and get started with Air GPU on the Windows PC. Let's catch some air. AirGPU is currently in open beta, which means you can sign up for your machine through their site right now. Hit the button Get Started and you can sign up for an account. Now you can choose the machine that is most suited for you. Choose your location and the machine configuration that you want. Please note that not every location has every tier available. Choose your streaming quality and then the storage for your machine. Be aware that the hard drive space you choose is an additional price per month. The higher the capacity, the more it is per month. Once finished, hit the Create Machine button and your virtual machine will be created under your account with the details of that machine. Now AirGPU is an hourly credit-based platform, so to use your machine, you need to purchase credit. Hit the Add Credit button to choose the credit amount you want. Hit Purchase to start the payment process. A Paddle.com purchase window will appear to confirm your location and give you the option of paying by credit card, PayPal, or Google Pay. Now we do have a coupon code to get 10% off your credit with code CGBATTLE. Choose your payment method and complete your purchase. Your credit should now be reflected in your account. Hit back to dashboard to get access to your machine. Hit the start button to get your machine initialized and running. This may take a couple of minutes. The window may refresh several times. Once the app says the status is running and the button at the bottom says stop, your machine is officially up and running. Next, hit the How to Connect link to get instructions on how to connect to your new virtual PC. If you don't have streaming programs Parsec or Moonlight, install one of these programs to use your cloud PC. The links to each of these are in the description. We'll start with connecting with Parsec because it supports both NVIDIA and AMD GPU machines on default. If you don't have Parsec, download it and install it, and create an account with Parsec if you don't have one. Now after you signed up and installed Parsec, we'll first need to remote into your new machine through another method. We're using Windows, so we'll use the remote desktop connection to gain access. Use the credentials on this page to remote in here. I blurred out mine for security reasons. Start by entering your IP address in the computer field. It will then want you to enter your credentials. It might default to your personal Windows account. Hit more choices and choose use a different account and type your virtual PC credentials and hit OK. Go ahead and trust that certificate, and after this, you should be connected to your virtual PC. The final step is to run Parsec on your virtual PC and sign in. You will have to verify that you signed in through email. Once you do, your virtual PC will be now connected to Parsec. You can now close the Windows Remote Connection and connect through Parsec on your local PC. It will want you to put your virtual machine password in one more time for clarification, and you're good to go. Now, if you plan to connect with Moonlight, be aware that you need to install your own game streaming app to connect to your remote PC separate from Parsec. Feel free to install NVIDIA GameStream for machines using NVIDIA GPUs so you can pair Moonlight with your remote PC. NVIDIA GameStream will not work with AMD GPU machines though, like the one we chose. You will need to use another game streaming app like OpenStream. I highly suggest looking through the documentation of these streaming apps, Parsec and Moonlight, so you know how to operate your virtual cloud PC effectively. Parsec has an on-screen menu, but Moonlight does not, so you'll have to memorize the key bindings. Feel free to install anything you want and play like this is a PC at home with Air GPU. Once you are finished using your cloud PC, hit Ctrl Alt Shift Q to end your session on Moonlight. Or if you're using Parsec, use the Parsec menu to disconnect and exit to your desktop. Go back to your dashboard on the Air GPU website so you can make sure that the cloud PC is stopped so they don't continue to charge you by the hour. When you sign up, make sure to use the promo code during payment located here and in the description. If you like this Air GPU walkthrough, give us a like and feel free to subscribe so you can get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.